Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Let me tell you that I am still in recovery from a stomach flu, so <laughs> feeling great. So I asked you guys on my Instagram, definitely give me a follow if you haven't already, but I asked you guys in my stories on there, are you still interested in me talking about the books that I read in April since it's pretty much like the middle of May already and the majority like 80% of you said yes so here I am and I will be talking to you guys about the five books that I finished in April and I'm gonna talk about them in chronological order so the first one that I finished in April is Hollow Pox the hunt for Morgan Crow and with finishing the third and final book until so far in this series we also finished our Nevermore read-along that I co-hosted together with Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe I won't be like giving you any details on like what this story is about because spoilers for book one and two but let me just give you my general thoughts about this one. So a big element that plays a role in hollow pox is that there is also some kind of like virus thingy going on and I don't know if I really enjoyed reading about like a virus situation whilst we're still in this like whole panorama so <laughs> and it felt a little less whimsy and magical as especially the first and second book so I still really loved being in this world I still loved spending time with the characters especially Jupiter North he is one of my favorites I love him so much just my least favorite until so far but still I gave it a four out of five stars so that shows you that it was still a great book and I just love Jessica Townsend's writing style and in this one you also get a little bit more world building which I was missing especially in the first book so I am very enthusiastic and excited to continue on with the rest of the series I don't know if there's like any information out about book four yet I don't even know if we have a title or a release date but I am just very excited and once we know more Olivia and I will still be doing like a read-along for the rest of the series and I'm looking forward to that so much. The next two books that I read in April are by the same author and I won't be talking too much about them because this week I think on Sunday I will be posting a dedicated reading vlog for these next two books so I'm gonna give you the briefest of thoughts for these ones and I won't be giving you any ratings except for this one <laughs> which is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This was a reread and it was I think maybe of 2019 my favorite book and it's still a favorite. If you don't know what The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is about I feel like you've been living under a rock but as you might be able to tell from the title we follow like this very well-known star Evelyn Hugo. She was like super famous from like the 1950s until the 1980s and you follow her life story throughout these seven husbands that she had. I love this one so much. It's still one of my favorite books of all time. It's just the whole story is so gripping and really compelling. Evelyn Hugo is a super flawed character. Um, I'm just realizing I'm giving you like so many details about this one, but I've already read it, but okay. Let's keep it a bit more shorter. So super interesting characters, great story. I love the LGBTQ element in this one and you just are mind blown by the end of this one. So still a favorite of mine and I am so excited that I got to read Malibu Rising. I will not be telling you any of my thoughts on this one because I really would love for you to watch that reading vlog this weekend. It says here that it is coming out in May 2021, so like this month I believe at the end, or if you're from the US on June 1st I believe. So it's coming to you in like two weeks, but I will tell you the little synopsis of this one. And also a big thank you to Penguin Random House for sending me an arc of this one. I was so happy when I received this one in the mail. So Malibu Rising is about the for Riva siblings. So the oldest one is Nina. She is a surfer and a supermodel and she's kind of like the caretaker of the bunch. And then we have the brothers Jay and Hud. One is a photographer and the other one is a surfer as well. And they have their like adorable baby sister is what it says here on the back, but she's like 20 or 21. So around my age, not a baby, but the youngest one of them all. And she is called Kit. And like the title suggests, they live in Malibu, but they are the offspring of famous singer Mick Riva. And that's where kind of like the seven husbands ties in because one of Evelyn's husbands is Mick Riva. But 
not her offspring <laughs> and what the Rifas do every single year is they host kind of like this end of summer party and it's so extravagant all these famous people come there and like lots of extreme things happen and with this year the Riva mansion will have gone up to flames by the end of the party this story focuses a lot on family a lot about finding out what you want about setting your own boundaries and that's all that I'm gonna say for now if you want to hear my in-depth but not spoilery thoughts wait for this weekend. I have lots of opinions and lots of things to share and that's all that I'm gonna say for now. <laughs> In April I was honestly on like a middle grade kick because the next book that I picked up is Me, My Dad and The End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. I got gifted this book for my birthday by Karis. Thank you so much Karis for gifting me this book. I still have like a birthday book haul coming up. This is like half of the books that I got for my birthday but I just I need to figure out where to put them all and then I can haul all of the books. But this is an LGBTQ middle grade story about Archie and his mom and dad have been fighting a lot recently so that has definitely like put a strain on their family on their family dynamics and they're keeping like a big secret from him but when like this flyer falls out of Archie's dad's pocket he kind of like perhaps knows the answer to what has been going on just like the illustrations on this one are so adorable and so beautiful and this is like Archie with his two friends and there was also a character in this book called Sabine so I was like Hey. <laughs> like I said, it deals a lot with like family issues and it was really heartbreaking to see Archie and like his family, especially of course his dad, going through all of the things that they went through. But it was also filled with joy and laughter and little jokes and I love middle grade so much for that. I have never picked up a book like this one and if you want an LGBTQ middle grade book, I would highly recommend you this one. And I got my recommendation, of course, from Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin. So thank you so much, Gavin. If it it wasn't for you and the interview that you did with Benjamin this book might not have been like on my radar so thank you so much and now I'm recommending it to you guys <laughs> and then the last book that I finished is Bridge of Souls by V.E. Schwab no Victoria Schwab so no V.E. Schwab going on here because this is middle grade this is the third and final question mark book in the Cassidy Blake series which is like a middle grade ghost hunting horror series. I guess you could classify it as horror for children. It is very creepy and not usually something that I would like to pick up in April like coming into spring but it was still a lot of fun. This one takes place in New Orleans. New Orleans? I never know how to say that town's name. I'm so sorry. This was my least favorite out of the trilogy. I don't know why but it was just like I was missing that spark but I did love the setting of the city. It feels super haunted. I guess maybe just the adventure wasn't as clear or as well worked out in my opinion as it was with the previous two books but still I enjoyed it. I gave it four out of five stars but it does not feel like a conclusion hence why I was like the third and final book because it is a very open ending and it just feels like there are gonna be more books. I don't know. <laughs> but this is definitely like a series that I see myself going back to with like Halloween and just as a comfort read. So these were the five books that I read in April. Like I said, a lot of middle grade. And then the other two books that I read were adult fiction, but both by the same author. In May, I have a bit more of a variety of genres, a variety of authors coming up. So I'm looking forward to sharing all of those reads with you guys as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or in the button down below and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!